Alright, uh, this is uh, Pokemon Blue. Uh, so this was uh, actually the first game I got uh, on my uh, Game Boy Color. Uh, I got some uh, inheritance money, uh, and then uh, uh, yeah, I got a uh, Game Boy Color and uh, Pokemon Blue. Uh, I had wanted it for, uh, I've wanted Pokemon for a while, like this was, uh, you know, when it was becoming, uh, you know, really popular and everything, uh, and I think my cousin had it, I had watched him play it, uh, uh, yeah, and so then eventually, you know, I finally got it, and... Uh, you know, I played it a ton, like, uh, for a while that was the only Game Boy game I had. And then, you know, eventually I got, uh, Pokemon Red, uh, and then I think I got Yellow the day it came out. Uh, I, re yeah, I specifically remember that, uh... I think there was some like uh, power outs or something, power outages, or the uh, or at least like the credit card system was down. So I remember we like drove to the store to get it like on that day, and then uh, you know we couldn't get it because the the credit card thing was out, and you know my mom didn't have like the cash on her. So I think we like drove back home and then like gathered up some money from around the house and stuff, and then uh, drove back and got it. Uh, I, I somehow completed the Pokedex on Blue. I think I must have borrowed, like, a neighbor's Game Boy or something to transfer the Pokemon from, uh, Red to Blue. Uh, so one thing, this is the, uh, Blue game, but just to make it, uh, a bit more interesting, uh, I use the randomizer just to, I don't know, change it up so we can try different Pokemon. So we got, uh, Nidoran, Weedle, and let's see who this is, Geodude. Alright, and I also, uh, uh, changed it so that the, uh, aside from randomizing the, uh, starter Pokemon and the, uh, uh random Pokemon are uh, randomized as well. Uh, I don't remember if I randomized trainer Pokemon, uh, but the uh, I also set it to fix uh, impossible, impossible or difficult evolutions. So uh, if I did choose Geodude there, I would be able to just level him to evolve to Golem, I believe. But uh, I'm gonna pick uh, Nidoran. Uh, I think Nido. Needle Queen and Needle King are probably two of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I do often choose a, or you know, catch a uh, Nidoran fairly early, uh, just west there of Viridian. But uh, uh, you probably also noticed earlier I got the Max Repel, I believe, from the PC instead of the Potion. Uh, so that's just another one of the changes that I had it set. Uh, I don't know what all the you know, what wild Pokemon there are going to be or anything. Let's switch those around. Alright, so this is, uh, uh, kind of unfair, but, uh, oh well. Yeah, uh, I did have it, uh, limit the randomization of the Pokemon, so there's not going to be uh, I think it's limiting it to similar strength Pokemon, so there should just be like uh, you know first uh, evolution stages running around here. There won't be any like uh, wild Mewtwo's or anything. Yeah, I had thought of doing this in Fire Red. Uh, I do typically play Fire Red more when I want to 
you know, play through Pokemon again. But uh, this is just, I don't know, kind of more nostalgic playing through it this way. And uh, with the randomization, I wanted to kind of keep the random to for Gen 1 Pokemon. And I didn't know if the Fire Red randomization would put in a bunch of Gen 2. I think I also had it that uh, the TMs are randomized and uh, any Pokemon can learn any HM, uh, which I won't be using that to give everyone Surf or anything, that's just to make the whole HM thing uh, less obnoxious. Alright, there's a 3k, I guess there's Wild Eater in around here. Probably should have just gone with Geodude then. I just caught a Eater in here. Uh, I'm not gonna bother searching around just yet. Uh, no Pokeballs, so there's no point. Uh, I'm just going to head up to the Mart. Yeah, it would have been nice if there was a, uh, a hack to just remove all the HM stuff from the game. That's uh, the one thing that kind of always keeps me from replaying the Pokemon games is it's like, oh yeah, it'll be so fun, I'll go through Pokemon again and use like, you know, a team of all whatever, or I'll use this Pokemon, or I'll do this kind of run through. And then it's like, oh wait, then I gotta mess around with, you know, HMs, getting an HM slave and, you know, using strength everywhere for those dumb puzzles in the cave and stuff like that. It's just such a bother. But, uh, yeah. Oh well, at least that won't be a problem for a little while. So after uh, after I had played through well you know uh, blue and then red and yellow, uh, I did eventually get silver. Uh, I think I got silver on release day as well. Uh, actually, yeah, I remember that too. I remember my Game Boy was getting low on batteries, and uh, I started playing, and I think I chose uh, Cyndaquil. Oh yeah, by, by the way, I chose uh, Squirtle during my first game, during Blue. But yeah, I chose Cyndaquil, and I played, and I think I got... Uh, I don't know, I played it for half, like, you know, maybe 20 minutes or so, and then before we got home, and before I was able to save, uh, my batteries died. Uh, and so then I restarted with uh, Totodile. Uh, so yeah, eventually, you know, I played through a ton of that, eventually I got gold, played through a bunch of that. Uh, somehow transferred the uh, Pokemon again. Wait, did he give me? I thought he was supposed to give me uh, Pokeballs. It's been a while since I've played this, so. Her? Okay, I don't know why I, I thought. One of those guys was supposed to give me Pokeballs, but uh, I guess I'll just go buy some. Anyway, yeah, so I got played through silver, did played through gold. Uh, must have, you know, borrowed a na uh, neighbor friend's uh, Game Boy, transferred all the Pokemon, even transferred, you know, uh, all the Pokemon from blue or whatever, so I could have a complete Dex in silver. Uh, I never ended up getting the third one. I think it was Crystal. Uh, yeah, I think that was around the time when I started kind of, you know, falling out of Pokemon. I think I was... Well, you know, I got to that age where I was like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm a big kid now. I don't want to play, uh you know, dumb kids' games or whatever, so I think I sold most of my Pokemon stuff at that point, unfortunately. I don't have... I had a ton of cards, I don't have any of them anymore. Uh, 
Yeah, and I think uh, I still have the games though. I uh, kept them. Uh, I think I probably tried to sell them, but uh, just you know nobody wanted to buy them for uh, you know I think I wanted you know thirty dollars for them or whatever, and uh, you know nobody wanted to pay that much. Uh, So yeah, fortunately I still have them, and I still have my Game Boy. Uh, I don't really, you know, play on it anymore, it's just kind of a bother. Uh, yeah, the Pokemon games, I find they're, they're kind of slow. I don't really uh, play them except an emulator. Uh, I'm not fast-forwarding now or anything, but uh, probably, you know, once we kind of get really into it, I'll uh, start fast-forwarding a bunch. Unfortunately, this emulator, it, it doesn't seem to uh, mute the sound or have an option to mute the sound when you're fast forwarding, so I may, uh, I don't know, try and figure out some other way to do that, whether in editing or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't really want the uh, high pitched noise when I'm fast forwarding. Alright, so there's Pidgeys here. More Pidgeys. I don't really want to use a Pidgey, but uh, might as well uh, just kill this one to get a bit of EXP. Uh, and, oh, and of course, uh, a Stadium. I remember I played a ton of Stadium. I, I got it you know, pretty much release day. Uh, played through the first one a ton, and then you know, eventually got the second one when it came out. Oh, forgot about him. Uh, he's probably, I don't think I'm going to, well, I might be able to beat him. If he's got uh, Kakuna, oh, uh, never mind, uh, yeah, he's going to kill us. Unless level 9 Golbat doesn't have any attack, yeah, it does. Yeah, so I played uh, Stadium a ton, uh, especially being able to fast forward was uh, great. Uh, there on the built-in emulator. I remember you could use the uh, C buttons to fast forward. Uh, probably could actually beat Golbat. He's not doing... maybe with another level or two I could probably beat him. He's not doing a ton of damage. And he, he doesn't heal that much. No, oh, uh, there we go. Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there was. Uh, I'm just gonna have just a quick look, uh, see if there's any other Pokemon there. Uh, I think before there is normally Spiros and uh, Nidoran here. So there should be at least one other Pokemon type. It shouldn't just be Pidgeys, I think. Alright, Geodude. I might as well catch one of them. Yeah, I always like using Pokemon that I don't use too often. Uh, you know, just use different ones. Uh, and Geodude is one of those Pokemon that I don't typically use, just because the, uh, you know, evolving him into Golem is such a bother.
Yeah, so then around, yeah, it was around, uh, yeah, sometime after Silver that I kind of fell out of Pokemon. Uh, I stopped playing any of the games. Uh, I don't think I was even really, you know, I wasn't even really aware that they were, like, releasing new ones or anything. Uh, you know, I don't remember really even seeing them and being like, oh, like, you know, I wasn't even looking at all uh, for them. Uh, like, I did get a Game Boy Advance, and, you know, played it a ton. Uh, so I was still playing games and everything, I just didn't, uh, I didn't get any new Pokemon games uh, until, uh, I think it was in college uh, when the 2DS came out. Uh, I went and I bought a, uh, Uh, I went and I bought a uh, 2DS and uh, Pokemon X uh, and play started playing that. I think the reason why I started that was uh, there was like those uh, mini Pokemon episodes. Uh, I think there was like four of them or something and they were like the uh, Gen 1 games. They were basically like quickly going through the Gen 1 games. I think it was like Pokemon uh, Generations or something. There's like four episodes going through Gen 1, uh, but ki but not like the other anime, it was more like, you know, the actual game, like the, uh, it wasn't Ash, and it wasn't, uh, uh, you know, the, it, none of it was like the, uh, the anime, so that was kind of cool and stuff, and then there was a lot of, uh, I remember with X, there was the, uh, Hyper Evolutions or whatever for the Gen 1 Pokemon, and there seemed to be a lot of kind of Gen 1 stuff going on, so that got me into playing it. And yeah, Pokemon X was uh, pretty fun. Uh, I think one thing I've mentioned before is I do get sidetracked with side stuff too often, and uh, so with X that was a problem with the Global Trade Station. I remember just kind of spending forever uh, just gathering, uh, you know, all sorts of different Pokemon and trading them and, uh, breeding them and stuff, and just kind of wasting a ton of time with that when I was, like, in the middle of the game. And so I had, like, this, you know, weird team of all Pokemon that I had, you know, gotten for, you know, trade online or whatever, and uh, I spent so long doing that that then I just kind of, you know, ran out of interest with it and ended up just kind of quickly getting through to the end and being sick of it. Uh, so I, yeah, I kind of regret doing that. I shouldn't have, uh... Alright, so there was no interesting Pokemon back there. Yeah, I want to kind of catch, uh... You know, just more Pokemon that I don't typically use, uh... I guess that is kind of the problem with the, the way the randomizer is going. Uh, it's changing kind of similar strength Pokemon for other similar strength. But Gen 1 doesn't have a ton of Pokemon, so there's only so many, like, first form in a three-stage thing that you can do, so... Like, I would like to catch, like, I don't know, a Slowpoke or a Staryu or something, you know, some one of, or maybe a Tentacool, one of those Pokemon that you don't typically... I don't typically use because you only get them, like, halfway through the game. But those are all, you know, first of two stages, so they're probably, I'm guessing it's going to swap them for other first of two stages, so it may be a while. At least I should be good for these bug guys, they're not going to do anything against uh, my poison and rock type team. Uh, so yeah, anyways, X was good. Oh... Yeah, so that's replacing a, a Kakuna, I'm guessing. Yeah, so it is, uh, it is changing uh, trainers. Oh well, if I uh, do this... Should be okay.
But I'll be interested to see what uh, TM Brock gives me then. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, X was fine. It was uh, nostalgic and you know kind of fun to play through again. But uh, I was kind of uh, disappointed with how little uh, Pokemon had changed in uh, like 20 years. Uh, Geo dude looks funny. Yeah, see, I don't even think I've seen the. Gen 1 rear Geodude sprite before. God, if he's got another Nidorina, I think he had two Pokemon, but if he's got another Nidorina, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him. <laughs> oh well, Geodude will get like three levels or two levels off of killing him, I think, so that'll be okay. Uh, yeah, I was kind of disappointed with how little it had changed. Like. Uh, you know, between stopping playing uh, uh, after Gold and Silver and getting X, I did sometimes play uh, Fire Red. Uh, I played through that fairly often on emulator. Uh, but I haven't, uh, I don't think I've played the other ones very much. Like, I did play, you know, I'd alternate between Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, I never played uh, Ruby or Sapphire, no, uh, Diamond or Pearl, I, I don't think I've played them yet. Uh, I think I might have played Ruby or Sapphire once, a little bit. Uh, and I've never played Black or White, or, uh, Black or White 2. Uh, those would actually be fun to play through sometime. But yeah, like, you know, there wasn't really that much difference between X and, uh, I was wrong, I shouldn't use Growl, it didn't matter. There wasn't that much difference between X and, uh, like, uh, Fire Red, uh, you know, and things like how slow the games are and stuff, uh, that still kind of bothered me. You know, the entire time playing through X, I was like, I would rather just be playing this on an emulator so I could fast forward. Alright, second uh, defeat. And then, uh, I think after X, I, uh, well, I never bothered getting Y, uh, and there was no Z or anything. Uh, so after that, uh, I did end up getting Moon, uh, you know, the day it came out. Uh, and I absolutely hated it. It was so much worse than X, uh. The amount of hand holding was just insane. It was like just constant uh, getting blocked off, uh, not being able to, you know, you'd get to a town and it would, uh, uh, they'd be like, oh, you, you know, you'd try to leave the town to go explore and be like, wait, why don't you go beat the gym leader first? But it would do that every town. And it wasn't even like trying to make it somehow story related, like, oh, you know, you've got to you know, fix this problem in the town before, like, this door will open up to let you leave. It was just some ar arbitrary, like, guy stopping you there. Uh, so I think what I'm probably gonna do here... I don't think I can beat him yet. Uh, I think what I'm gonna probably do is just fast forward, and I won't say... I won't talk... Uh, yeah, I'll just fast forward and do some grinding, and then uh, gain a couple levels, and then beat the uh, beat that guy.
Okay, here's a uh, Venonat. I think I may catch one of these. I don't uh, think I've ever used a Venomoth on my team. Oh, I should have tackled that. Okay, good. I'm nowhere near strong enough to one-shot him. some levels. facilities usable. We'll all have to uh, do this. I don't think he can beat one of them by himself. Time to go uh, heal. We're getting kind of low. I think I may go fight uh, the rival. Yeah, so I played, I got Moon release day, uh, played through it, and just hated it. It was, yeah, it was so slow, so uh, hand holdy. The, you know, you you couldn't go like anywhere without the game letting you. It was just ridiculous. Uh, like I beat, you know, red when you know blue and red back when I was like a little kid. Uh, I had no problem with them. I guess I should save. Uh, so there wasn't, you know, people say like, oh, it's you know their kids' games. But, like I beat blue and red and yellow and all that when I was a kid. There was. It wasn't difficult. They don't. They don't need to be getting as handholdy as they are. Just want to check for another Pokemon here. Thought there might be one more. I guess not. All right. Uh. Geo to be able to kill the uh, Golbat. Yeah, I like, see how like slow everything is. All, all the slow walking, the slow cutscenes, and but if anything, I think Pokemon should be getting away from that if they want to appeal to kids. Uh, you know, make the battles faster, make it so that you're not just sitting here watching animations and text and stuff. Each life is bug, I believe. Uh... Oh. Okay. Uh... Poison? Okay, I I thought rock and uh, ground would be resistant to it. I guess it, maybe it's poison type, or maybe they aren't resistant to bug. I don't know. Oh well, I can just keep switching every time I get screeched too many times.
uh, I, like actually, uh, before, like I had, uh, I, after I was done with Moon, I wasn't interested in playing it anymore. Uh, my landlord at the time, their their kid was interested in Pokemon. Uh, he hadn't, he had a 3DS, but he, you know, he didn't really play it much, and he didn't have any Pokemon games. But like he had cards and he had you know books and stuff like that. Uh, I think you know a Pikachu plush or whatever. Uh, you know, but he he hadn't played any of the actual games. Uh, so you know, I gave him you know I let him play uh, Moon and uh, you know I thought maybe he'd like but he didn't end up uh, even getting to the actual game because Moon starts with like. A half an hour of just cutscenes and dialogue and stuff before you before anything even happens and you know he was like playing it and he's tapping through it and then he's just like uh maybe I'll play this later and then he just like quit playing and then uh, he never was like oh can I play that again or anything it, it you know he just had no interest in it at all. Uh, and like he plays video games all the time, so it's not like you know he just wasn't interested in games. It was just it was so boring for him. Which yeah, like I barely got through the moon because of just all the cutscenes. Like that's the thing. Like you know, Mystic Quest. With my playthrough idea to that. I think I mentioned like it has like the best RPG opening I've seen where, you know, you, it starts right away, like, the, the cool music and, you know, there's, like, two lines of dialogue and then you fight a boss. Uh, and then there's, like, two more and then two more lines of dialogue and then you are into the actual game and you're playing. Uh, and, you know, even though it's not, like, open, you know, it probably is only as open world as, like, the, as Pokemon Moon, but uh, it's still, like, handholds less than Pokemon does, even though it's just as easy. Yeah, so then after, after Moon, uh, I didn't bother getting Sun, uh, and then I had, uh, when Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun came out, I was kind of looked, and I was like, okay, maybe they toned it down, but from what I gather, they actually made the amount of cutscenes worse. Uh, so I wasn't interested in that. Alright, finally beat him. Uh, and so that was kind of the point where I was like, okay, I. I guess I'm not gonna bother playing any new Pokemon games, like, they're still, they haven't learned their lesson, they're still just, uh, you know, do, making them like this, uh, they're so slow and hand-holdy and stuff. Uh, like, I, I would not be playing this if it wasn't on an emulator where I could fast forward, like, the leveling that I did there, uh, previously in the forest, you know, that would take, like, an hour. Uh, which is just a waste of time. Like, if you can do it in, you know, a minute, why would you waste an hour doing it? Oh, and Ekans. I've never had an Ekans on my team before, so I think I'll get that too. I kind of want a Slowpoke on my team. I hope I run into a Slowpoke uh, early-ish. Uh, so I've been... Uh, You know, not so much in the West, but I know in Japan, Smokehoke seems to be kind of up there with like Eevee and Pikachu in terms of popularity. Well, not quite Pikachu, but he, you know, he's alongside like Eevee anyways. There's tons of just uh, Slowpoke uh, goods and Slowpoke commercials and stuff. Uh, uh, and they, they make like you know Slowpoke so, uh, theme songs and stuff like that. Actually, I'll, I'll put a link to one of them in the description for this. Uh, there's this hilarious uh, like Slowpoke like reggae style song that uh, is up on the uh, Japanese uh, Pokemon channel. Uh, so yeah, that's been making me want to have a Slowpoke on my team. 
Actually, with like a Venonat and an Ekans, a Slowpoke, I think I'm turning into a Team Rocket character here. I'll just see if there's anything else here. Oh, uh, dude. I guess that's that's probably all that's in that grass there. Uh, Pidgey Ekans, Geodude. That's probably it. I should go heal. Yeah, so I was like, okay, like I'm probably not gonna get any more Pokemon games. They're just they're still too slow. They're still just the same game as they've been for twenty years. Uh then, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee came out, uh, and I was like, okay, uh, whatever, that'll be, you know, fun, nostalgic, so I'll, I'll get that. So I got Eevee, uh, I played through it, uh, I ended up using the online just to get the full 150, uh, and yeah, so it was... You know, again, it was fun, nostalgic, you know, going through basically red and blue again, but a bit fancier. Uh, but it was still just, you know, it's the same game every time. Uh, so that was okay, you know, it was not that great, but uh, at least with the Switch being portable, uh, you know, you can kind of play it when you're eating or whatever or watching TV and it's you know it, it's not like uh, I don't know uh, if it wasn't like that I probably wouldn't uh, play it you know if, it's only really worth doing if you can concentrate on something else while you're doing it or if it's on an emulator and you can just uh, fast forward through it Uh, so then the uh, whole thing with uh, Sword and Shield uh, happened. Uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm firmly in the camp that you know Game Freak is just lazy as hell. Uh, they're, you know, they're making the same game over and over. Uh, they, you know, they clearly reused all the models and stuff and said that they weren't. Uh, you know, the, uh, I never ended up getting Sword or Shield, and uh, uh, even now I think the, uh, the DLC bundle is out. I kind of looked at that, but it's like $100 for it, because it's, it's not just like a Game of the Year version where it's the same, you know, new, same new game price, it's the cost of the new game plus the DLC, so uh, you know, it's just way too expensive. Uh, for what it is, and really, like, I haven't played uh, Black or White yet, uh, you know, I'm sure they're just as good as Sword and Shield is, uh, and I can play them on an emulator, so I can fast forward. So we'll get Ven and Adam a bit of experience. So yeah, if I wanted to play a new Pokemon game, which I may do sometime, I would just play through one of them. Uh, there's no point in uh, wasting time with uh, Sword and Shield. They just don't look appealing to me. You know, maybe someday uh, I will play through them on an emulator when I can fast forward. But from what I've seen of like, uh, you know, I did watch a bit of a Let's Play on one. Uh, it's the same thing. It's hand holding and uh, NPC dialogue and cutscenes and everything's slow and uh, you know unpolished and you know it's kind of ridiculous with Pokemon being as big as it is that they can't just make a really you know mind blowing game. You know they said like. Uh, you know, like it doesn't include all the Pokemon, which you know it'd be under it would be fine if they kept making the same game basically, but they were adding more Pokemon. Like that would be something, but uh, you know, if they're not even gonna do that, like there doesn't seem to be any point in playing it. Uh, there's 
you know, it's the same uh, same battle system, everything's still slow and uh, everything. Uh, and they're not even adding all the new Pokemon, so... Or adding all the old Pokemon. Okay, who is... Uh, uh, I was say who will not get destroyed by Dig, but... Uh, like everyone will. My, I think poisons are weak against ground, so uh, I think my entire team is kind of screwed. Yep. Yeah, so I, I never ended up getting uh, sword or shield. Oh. Yeah, I was hoping I would disable his dig. Okay, I, it, he used Scratch and then it disabled Growl. I thought it would disable the last move that he used. But I guess it's random. Uh, this is gonna be another case where I'm gonna, I think, have to go grind. Yeah, that's the problem with, uh, I think, the randomizer. It it says, like, okay, uh, second stage evolutions get switched for second stage evolutions. So all these bug catchers with their uh, cocoonas and metapods get all these really powerful second stage Pokemon. here uh, once I get up
Okay, so I did a bunch of grinding there, and, uh, and then I realized that uh, the Doug Trio is probably still going to be impossible to beat. Uh, if I recall correctly, Doug Trio is a very quick Pokemon. Uh, he'll probably attack first all the time, so he will uh, dig before I get a chance to do anything. Uh, he'll dig, and then he'll one-shot whoever he hits. Uh, because he's super effective against my entire team. Uh, I guess the only thing I can hope for is that, uh, he... Uh, doesn't use dig. Actually, that's one thing I'm not sure of. I, for some reason, I had heard that in the first generation, the BAI is very simple, and if they have a super effective attack, or type, they will use it, regardless of how smart it is to actually use it. So you'll end up with, uh, like, uh, you know, Pokemon using, like, uh, psychic type, uh, stat effect, uh, abilities over and over if they have them, even though it's not actually doing any damage. Uh, but maybe there's not a 100% chance that they'll do it. Alright, he's gonna kill that or not. Or not. Ah, oh, no, don't disable that. Okay, so he's not got a 100% uh, chance of using it anyways. I don't know if maybe... Be I don't know. Maybe it's like a higher chance, but he will still sometimes use other abilities. Or maybe Dig is special because it, it doesn't hit you the next turn. It, uh, it doesn't factor into that. Okay, I think I can beat uh, Doug Trio. He doesn't have a second Doug Trio. Or a third. Okay, Weezing. That's fine. I think I should be able to beat Weezing. Uh, yeah, so aside from, uh, I don't know, Sword and Shield, uh, I did play a bit of Pokemon Go. Actually, yeah, unfortunately, I ended up. I started playing it uh, just when winter was starting, and then I got sick of it just when like spring was coming. So uh, I played through it during kind of like the worst time you could do. Uh, I didn't have a car at the time, so I was just biking around. So I you know biked around during the winter to all these places. Uh, froze catch a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, uh, and you know, it was... I don't know, Pokemon Go was fun, but uh, it's it's not a good game, I don't think. Uh, it's... I don't know. It's just not well made. Uh, it's you know, glitchy as hell. Uh, there was just constant bugs and stuff. Uh, you, I was always having to just restart the app and stuff. Uh, log out, log in, and uh, 
you know, you go and catch a Pokemon and it would turn into something else or whatever. Uh, they would fix a bug and then a month later they'd reintroduce the exact same bug. Uh, uh, I think Pokemon Go basically got by on being, you know, it it was this, you know, unique kind of novel idea, and uh, it fits the Pokemon, like, experience perfectly. Like, the whole walking around to catch Pokemon, like, you know, they could probably have figured something out to make, like, a Mario version or a Zelda version or whatever of the same kind of concept, but it... You know, it fits Pokemon perfectly, like, it is exactly what you're doing in the games, so... Uh, it's got that for it, and, uh, you know, it was a new, unique idea, but aside from that, like, it's really got nothing else. It's horribly glitchy, it's sim super simplistic, you basically just... All you do is catch Pokemon, the combat is just tapping on the screen, there's even less uh, strategy involved than, like, in the games. Uh, it's just, you know, there's just nothing to it, really, uh... Oh yes, Raph is, uh, horribly overpowered in Gen 1. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward through this, I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes, uh, watching the rap. Oh, good. I just managed it. Yeah, so I've eventually I got sick of it. Uh, I did use it to transfer. I was playing uh, Let's Go uh, Eevee at the same time, so I did use it to uh, transfer some Pokemon into that. Uh, help complete the decks there. Yeah, eventually I just got sick of it. It's just, uh, I think I'd mentioned before I don't like MMOs because they're just, uh, you know, they're they're more like chores. Really, you're getting very, very spread out content, uh, just designed to hook you and kind of keep you playing. And that's basically what Pokemon Go is. Uh, it's you know, it's an MMO, so it's all just thin content spread out to make you keep playing. Uh, so eventually I just quit, uh, basically like cold turkey. One day I was just, uh, I think it was during the, uh, they did some event where you got like extra, uh, miles or whatever for, uh, walking, uh, but they caused some huge bug that made it, you know, it, I think it broke the GPS, uh, functionality of the game during the event where you get extra miles for walking, so uh, I was just like, okay, this is this is stupid, I'm not doing this anymore, and I just quit and haven't played it since. Uh, I had thought if like I did get uh, Sword or Shield, I would uh, fire it up again and just transfer all the Pokémon into Sword and Shield, but uh, from what I gather, they've kind of screwed that up too, where you can only transfer like a couple Pokemon a week or something like that, so... You know, I'm just kind of sick of all that stuff. You know, that's like the whole modern game thing, is just try and monetize every little uh, part of the game. So yeah, I was like, ah, screw it, I'm, I'm done with that. Alright, I guess these guys are... I don't know if this is like the same... Uh... I think these are also typically kind of like what was before the forest there, the same kind of enemies, but I don't think the randomizer would uh... go... I think it just goes screen by screen, so these aren't necessarily going to be the same enemies. Uh, but I think there is only two or three different types here, typically, so, uh... I guess there's nothing else. I just want to search kind of every spot, just... 
so I don't miss uh, any cool Pokemon. I don't think there's any other items I can get in this town yet, so... Uh, rock is the only thing to do. Uh, yeah, again, we're... I, I don't... Oh, right, yeah, because of the randomizer, I have no idea what uh, Pokemon they're going to be. It would be nice if it did still keep them with uh, rock types or whatever, but uh, anyways, I guess we'll see what they've got. Oh, there's the uh, famous line, the light years away from facing Brock. See, like that would have taken like 10 minutes to do, uh, not fast forwarding. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I hate to keep complaining about it, but uh, even among JRPGs, the Pokemon games are just way too slow. grind now, I guess. I have literally nothing that can hit Ghastly. Uh, I can't get out there. Uh, there's no point in... Uh, fuck, what do I do? I guess it's Geodude. He'll be... Nidoran will learn Poison Sting eventually, but that won't be very good. Uh, Ekans will learn some Poison stuff. Uh, Venonat probably just learns Poison stuff uh, for a while. Uh, maybe Psychic stuff eventually, but that'll be at a really high level. Uh, I guess I just gotta level Geodude up until he learns Rock Throw or whatever. I guess the other thing would be, uh, even Jigglypuff, uh, he can learn, Jigglypuff can learn a lot of, uh, PMs, uh, 
it would help, but I have no TMs yet. Uh, I suppose uh, a poison attack would uh, be not very effective, but it would it would hurt him anyways. Uh, Poison Seed still... I'd have to probably level up at least two Pokemon to get Poison Attacks, because I imagine he would still beat one of them. Was I could always get a Caterpie, uh, level it up enough till it uh, evolves and there's confusion. That would be another option. But I don't really want a. Oh, there we go. Alright, he learned it much lower level than I th thought he would. I wasn't even sure that he would that he would learn it. I thought maybe he would evolve into a Graveler like at level 20, whatever, uh, and from then uh, learn it. Good. Yeah, so aside from, I guess, putting aside the mainline Pokemon games uh, that I still haven't played actually that many of, uh, or not most of them anyways, uh, well, I've played, uh, I played Stadium a ton there. Ah, oh, Snap. I never bought Pokemon Snap, but I did rent it several times, and I did the whole blockbuster thing where you got the card and, uh... printed out your pictures, uh, which I'm pretty sure was probably kind of expensive. Uh, of course, like, my parents were paying for it, but, uh... Uh, you got, like, these little tiny pictures. They were, like, the size of, like, a... Like a Switch game cartridge, basically, or smaller, probably. Maybe uh, default. It's got such low accuracy, and he still gets hit hard by Nightshade. I'll just have to keep trying until uh, Geodude actually hits him with it. Uh, so yeah, I played Pokemon Snap was really cool. Uh, I've heard there is there are rumors of like a new Pokemon Snap or something uh, coming out. I will most likely be getting that unless they screw it up somehow. Which I mean, knowing the Pokemon company, that's not unlikely. Uh, But yeah, if it's just, you know, if it's like an offline single player game and there's no stupid like DLC thing or, you know, anything like that where you have to pay for film or whatever, uh, I think I probably would get it. Uh, God, what is the accuracy of that attack in this gen? Okay, uh, I think after they kill me, I'm going to grind Meter in until she gets, uh, Poison Sting. Uh, if she had had, if anybody had had any Poison Attacks right there, I think they would be able to finish off Ghastly anyways. Yeah, I gotta go, uh, 
right for me. Oh. I hope Nidoran learns, learns. I know Nidoran Mail does, but uh, I don't. Nidoran Female is rounder. I don't think it's got as many spikes and stuff on it, so I'm not 100% uh, sure if it even learns Poison Sting. So yeah, I would. I think I would get. Yeah, I would get Snap probably if it came out. Uh, Provided they don't mess it up. Uh, what other ones are there? Uh, I know there was like a Pokemon Pinball, I never had that. Uh, I think I did play it a bit on like a friend's Game Boy. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any other Pokemon like side games or anything I played. Uh, I did have the cards, uh, of course, everybody collected the cards, I remember there being, uh, I remember, like, everybody, like, at recess, there would just be, like, a huge crowd of people trading Pokemon cards, uh, like, every day, and then I think I was, like, I remember I was, like, sick for a week or something, uh, and then I came back and, I, like, I, you know, I went out to the Pokemon card, uh, trading spot at school at recess, and there was, like, nobody there, I was just, like, standing there with my Pokemon cards, and then... Uh, somebody came up and like, oh, didn't you know, like, uh, they, like, banned Pokemon cards while you were away, like, uh, you know, we're, like, not allowed to have them at all now, and, uh, so yeah, that was, I, like, I remember that, that was the end of it then. Uh, but yeah, I, I nobody ever played Pokemon cards, it was, uh, just, uh, trading them, basically, which was kind of silly, but, uh, Yeah, I don't really care for the Pokemon card game anyways. Like, I did play it, uh, a little bit. Like, you know, a couple times you would get a friend to play with. Uh, there we go. We got Poison Sting. So we're ready to go now. Alright, if, uh, if Geodude can't do it, uh, I need a random maybe a little too. But yeah, I didn't think the Pokemon card game was very good. Uh, I know people still do play it, but uh, I found it to just be very bare bones in terms of mechanics. Like, uh, pretty much every card just has, like, you know, they're all just flip a coin if heads do this much damage, if tails do nothing, or uh, something like that. Like, there's not a whole lot of depth to them. Of course, you shouldn't be able to uh, beat the other guys, anyways. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, this is ridiculous. I'm having to grind this much. bad, I guess. Uh, it's nice that it does uh, swap the text there. Uh, so I think that is a... Hmm. Wait, what does that do? I don't think I've ever used that. I, uh... 
Uh, well, these guys, I, I think I'll teach it to Geodude, maybe? Or, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna probably break the recording here, save, and, uh, just go eat something, and I will check what Hayes does. Uh, if it's a damaging attack, I want to teach it to, like, Geodude. Just because then he'll have a poison type attack, uh, which he wouldn't otherwise learn. Uh, but I think it may just be uh, some like boost the stats of uh, poison Pokemon or something like that. It's uh, in which case I'll just probably not teach it to anyone. Uh... Anyways, alright, I'll be back in a bit.